School is canceled tomorrow. Let's go skate. Oh, so that's why they canceled school. Well, it's a good thing I have another hobby. Can I just tell you how cool I think this thing is? To my dad though, this model means so much more. This photo was taken around 1980 when he was six years old, and this is one of the first LEGO sets he ever built. The original Galaxy Explorer was so monumental for the LEGO company, and it's crazy to see how far we've come. Sure, the set might be a cash grab, looking to bank on some extra nostalgia, but I'm really feeling that vibe. So I'm thinking with my day off, I should build something based off of these classic 80s sets. And what better place to look for inspiration than my dad's old LEGO catalog? At least I think it's his. Am I not supposed to have this? The book is just filled with old wholesome LEGO adventures and it's only a dollar ninety nine. So we got some cool castle things, but you know I'm not really vibing with these. It's just all yellow and I've never been much of a castle guy myself. More of a fan of the cottages than the actual castles, funny enough. I'm now starting to get the appeal of why people build LEGO cities. This is actually so cool. Oh, dang. Okay, that's it. Yeah. I want to build something with this type of vibe. Cold outside, and I want to be cozy right now, you know what I'm saying? Let's try to figure this out. Now, I actually have the light brick that they're using in this picture, and it's a pretty cool one, but I think to just make my life easier, I'm going to switch it out from my tried and true brick stuff lights. And instead of using the old vintage LEGO color palette, I'm going to move 15 years into the future and start using some of the weird, wacky colors and parts that LEGO started putting in their sets. LEGO Scala! You know, we got colors like old pink, dark pink, violet, blue violet, and then I just threw in some medium lavender because you just you can't go wrong with that color. Build techniques and textures wise, I'm hoping to get it to look a little bit like the modular bookstore. I love this model. I just built it. It's really fun. And I want to create something with that vibe, but I still got to keep true to the old 80s aesthetic. With all these crazy ideas coming together, I think it's time we get ourselves a good sketch so we can visualize it all. Let's go! Okay, so I may have just gotten a little sidetracked and I drew a tree. I'm not going to say sorry though, because you know, like I always got trees on my mind. I also drew uh, Pooh and Piglet too. Love those guys. But you know, now that I'm thinking about it, there's a little bit of genius in how these characters work because you got the oranges and the pinks. And so if I'm gonna have this build with all these purples and pinks, I think I gotta have some like orangey colors in there too. So naturally we're gonna add some trees using some of these bright light orange leaves and then maybe mixing in some of these magenta ones as well. I'm not quite sure yet. And then for terrain, we can use colors like medium orange, regular orange, and light orange. And this should accent all the colors in the build really well. Okay, all right, let's do the real building sketch now. It's funny how the legit sketch is way messier than the tree, but I decided on a pretty simple two block styled cafe here. I'm gonna have the two trees and a little bit of snow cluttered around, but I'm getting pretty tired at this point. So I think I'm gonna hit the hay and we'll just build it tomorrow. tomorrow. Let's get this thing built.
So, I think it's almost done, but it needs one final touch. Do you remember the catalog from earlier? Yeah. It comes with a sticker sheet, all right. And I chose to use this one. But now that I'm thinking about it, that one right there is not too bad either. Today, I had one mission. I wanted to recreate that cozy feeling that I got looking back at my dad's childhood Lego collection. So how did I do? You know, I started today worrying about this crazy winter storm or where my life would take me in the next few years. But as I started building this, my thoughts drifted farther. Like looking 40 years into the future, it makes me wonder who I'll be if my kids will look back at my childhood. And maybe instead of opening up a photo album, they'll pull up one of these videos. They'll see that goofy guy that just wishes he could be a kid again. That person that wants so desperately to show others the joy he feels. They'll get to see the ups, sometimes the downs, and feel some strange feeling of nostalgia for a life they never lived. Same way I do, looking back 40 years at my dad as he builds the Galaxy Explorer. Nah.